it's been a it's been definitely a change of climate here in Beaver County. Uh, years ago, y- you know, it was either predominantly supporting Shell or maybe 50-50 at best. In like 2012, 13, 14, it was drill, baby, drill, drill, baby, drill. I mean, some people were concerned, but it was a lot of pro-fracking, not understanding the, the pollution consequences of fracking and the petro build out. But now uh, we've had hardly anybody who says, uh, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Now we, we seem to be getting people who seek us out. They support us. You know, residents continue to be concerned and we want them to um, be accountable to the, to the community. Uh, it's really important. Residents are very concerned. There were notices of violation and malfunctions before the plant came online. The first malfunction report that PA Department of Environmental Protection received was actually on the very day that Shell opened the facility. December 2022. Shell got their first notice of violation since coming online for exceeding an air permit. So before the plant was even fully operational, it was already exceeding its VOC emission limit. So that means for the next year, Shell put out illegal air pollution. On the 13th of February, Shell flared from its emergency flare. A 20-foot flame with massive black smoke coming out of it for four hours. And Shell said nothing for an hour. The next day was another notice of violation. In March, someone stopped down at Lock 6 and they noticed that there was just a fire hose being sprayed on one of the flares uh, because the flare had developed a hot spot on the outside. This continued for about two weeks. Moving into April, we started getting reports of people not being able to breathe as they drove past the shell plant, getting hit with this really bad smell in their car, immediately coughing. People had to like hold their breath down 376. And it turns out for about a week, Shell had a massive benzene release. Benzene is a carcinogen, which means it causes cancer. And so people were posting on Facebook that they had headaches, their kids were getting sore throats, not being able to breathe outside. During this time, Shell put out, I think, one Facebook post that was like, sorry about the smell, we had a bit of a malfunction. On May 24th, Shell actually received its first fine. They admitted right there in that press release that they would continue to be out of compliance at least through the fall. And as we see more notices of violation coming throughout the months, it's because Shell is not only continuing to exceed its VOC, so volatile organic compound emission, uh, permit limits, but they're also now starting to exceed other emission limits, so carbon monoxide and NOx. So, um, yeah, the, the sentiment has changed greatly. Everybody here today knew what I was talking about. You know, some people said, no thanks, I'm not interested. Most were very responsive and answered their doors. This plant is there to justify all the fracking infrastructure that is destroying our environment. It's just this big spider web of encroaching industry that they will come ever closer to people's residential lives if they can, if if people do not stand up and push back. I, I want to make my neighborhood better, my community better. I don't want to breathe in all this crap. I want things to be good with my for my grandkids. I think the biggest thing is I want them to connect the dots, to see that we have a voice, we have a choice, we should be exercising both um, in order to make something different happen, and that they can do that if they just come together and realize what is happening.